Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Combo Breaker 99. I am back with another Keys to Victory and Prediction video. And uh, first of all, I gotta say shout out to Coach Shelton Harrison. Um, I know he didn't want to do a Keys to Victory for this one because, you know, he's a bigger fan of the Shevchenko sisters. And um, he doesn't want to do that Keys to Victory. But I told him I would do this one because, you know, I'm a fan of both fighters. Well, you know, I'm a fan of Antonina, but at the same time, you know, I'm a fan of the fight game. I like to break fights down anyway, so... Yeah, again, shout out to the coach. I told him I would do this one and I'll uh, give you my prediction. So first off, man, I just got to say shout out to Caitlin for wanting to go in there against another Shevchenko sister right away. Because, you know, first off, you, you know that the blueprint is there in that camp on how to beat somebody, uh, Caitlin Chikay again. But again, the theme of this video, just like the last one, is execution. You know, the blueprint is in the Shevchenko camp, but it all comes down to execution. You know, Shev Antonina Shevchenko let's be honest she's not going to be able to beat Caitlyn the same way Valentina did it you know it all comes down to the blueprint being there but you executing it for your body type for the way you throw your jab for the way you throw your head kicks for the way you go in for takedowns for the way you establish your distance and establish your rhythm in a fight you know it all comes down to that so a blueprint is there to beat Caitlyn Chikagin but somebody like Antonina still has to prove that she can establish it the same way um of course, we know Valentina Shevchenko, she's on another level than all of the flyweights in the division, you know, so it's a different story for Valentina. You know, Antonina still has to prove all of that. You know, Antonina still, she's below some of the other top 10 fighters. So this is a big step up for her. You know, this is a big step up for her, whereas Caitlin Chikagin could just see this as another confidence builder. You know, that's why she's taking this fight. But that could be a mistake, too, if she sees this as just another easy fight. But somebody like Antonina she does have all those tools in her camp on how to beat somebody like Caitlin Chikagin and um I think this is going to be a good fight so with that being said um I want to go ahead and go down my keys to victory for this one first up Caitlin Chikagin her speed I think she's going to need her to use her speed in this fight I feel like she's a little bit faster than Antonina Shevchenko you know whenever you're talking about head movement or you know her hand speed uh even her foot speed I think that, you know, she kind of um, she's kind of a good striker slash boxer who likes to move in and out and stay busy. So, you know, she kind of thrives off of speed to, you know, kind of connect with those uh, busy hands at times. You know, even in the JoJo fight, you know, she's staying busy with the jab. You know, she's shooting the jab straight up the middle, following up with the right hand, trying to go straight for a head kick. You know, so Caitlin likes to stay busy once she lets her hands go. And once she gets into that mode, she's a busy fighter, you know, so. In this fight, she's going to have to use a lot of feints, a lot of head movements, a lot of shoulder movements, little twitches to try to get that moment where she can have uh, Shevchenko off rhythm. You know, she wants to get her off rhythm, fire those jabs straight up the middle, and then come back with the right hand. So the speed, speed advantage, and definitely a key to victory for Caitlin is to use that speed. You know, you want to use it to stay busy and outwork somebody, uh, Shevchenko, and keep her off rhythm. Second probably the most critical thing i think uh the jab yeah <laughs> you know the jab is big man i'm always going to say this for a stand-up fighter you know especially a long tall fighter like caitlin chikagin use the jab that jab even against a southpaw opponent can be effective you know once you throw that jab and establish it to the chest or to the head it can throw the rhythm off of a fighter you know and it can always set up your kicks or it can always set up your right hand so just like in my last video a tall, long fighter like Caitlin Chikagin can definitely capitalize off a jab, and the jab is always the key. So you definitely want to use that against a fighter if you want to keep it standing. You know, you want to keep that jab going to set up your big shots. Jab, jab, and jab. Third up, experience. Experience, you know, the IQ. Caitlin Chikagin, you know, um, she definitely had to learn from her losses in her, in her uh, career, and she's learned a lot from her wins as well. Uh, I don't know much of what she could have taken from the Valentina fight because that was complete dominated, dominated win for Valentina. But if you go back and look at the tapes, you you you'll see some weaknesses in there. You know, if you go back and look, you say, OK, this is where I this is where I failed. Maybe I was too tentative here. Maybe I gave her too much respect. So there's always something you can learn there, you know, and I think Caitlin Chikagin is a more. She's definitely a more experienced fighter, definitely more polished fighter than Antonina because she's she's proved in the the caliber of opponents she's faced. You know, everybody from Jessica I, who she lost to, uh, even JoJo Calderwood, um, Liz Carmouche. Uh, she's beat you know she's beaten a lot of these top ten fighters. So 
I think if she goes in there with the confidence, you know, saying, hey, I've been here before, uh, you know, I've been in there with your sister already. I can go in here and I can, you know, still uh, I can still perform to a high level and prove that I am still a top level fighter. If she goes in there with that mind frame. It'll definitely benefit her. And, um, you know, she could still, uh, you know, she could still probably come out with the win in this one. OK, so um, moving on. Keys to victory for Antonina Shevchenko. Now, again, execution, man. The game plan is there, but it's all in question if Antonina wants to use that or establish her own game game plan on beating Chikagin. And um, I definitely think that Antonina has a lot of tools in this fight. You know, a lot of tools. Even off of the fights I've seen her in, I've seen moments where I could say, yeah, she could definitely beat somebody like Caitlin Chikagin even before Valentina you know, got her hands on her. Um, she definitely has a lot of tools. So first up, the first key is use her timing. You know, if you're dealing with the faster fighter, you definitely want to use your timing. You know, you want to time that speed uh, to set up your shots and kind of throw off their rhythm. You know, somebody like Caitlin is fast with the hands. So you want to definitely time those attacks and those flurries with something good and solid. You know, maybe just a good one shot or one, two to make that person always say, oh man, like, they're seeing everything coming. You're going to make them frustrated and make them overthink. And all the while, while they're overthinking, you know, you're firing a good jab up the middle and a good left hand, you know, so you're getting your attack. You're getting your, your arsenal going. You're getting your attack going while they're still trying to think, you know, once you can stop that one thing and you can time it well, you know, it's going to make that fighter have to reach for something else or it'll, it'll just make them, uh, It'll, it'll, it'll nullify. It'll nullify their attack altogether. And I think that's how Valentina was able to do. Uh, that was how Valentina was able to do Caitlin. You know, she nullified that speed with her own quick and timed shots. You know, that's how um, Valentina did, did against Holly Holm as well. You know, Holly Holm comes in with their, those flash flurries. But, you know, um, Valentina would come straight up the middle. You know, as soon as she sees it coming, she would, bam, hit her quick. She'd be, I know she's coming this way, so I'm back. I'm, I'm right there where you are before you, before you can get to me, you know. So timing is very important. I think somebody like a Muay Thai fighter like Antonina, she has that timing to nullify the speed of Caitlyn. Uh, second up, man, um, taking it to the ground. I think Antonina definitely has an underrated ground game. You know, I think that this is what she's going to need to do against somebody like Caitlyn Chikagin. I think Caitlyn Chikagin, her victories and her best fights come against her opponents when she's standing so i think that if uh antonina goes in for a takedown first if she goes in for the clinches and you know land some good knees and she can get that trip and takedown i think that she can be very slippery on the ground and she could possibly get the submission win so i think that once she kind of closes that distance or if she starts to get outworked by caitlin by any chance you know she can switch that gear and go into a clinch and then take Caitlyn down and get work done on the ground, you know, with the ground and pound, keep that top position, or even try to get the back of somebody like Caitlyn. Because I think Caitlyn, when she gets to the back, can be kind of helpless, you know, just be honest. You know, I think that Antonina's ground game is just a little bit better than somebody like Caitlyn at this point. And I think that if she can't match her strike for strike, then Antonina should take it to the ground. So, uh, yeah, ground game is another uh, key to victory for uh, Antonina. Uh, next up, Leg kicks. Caitlin, her lead leg is open to be ripped up by those just those those single leg kicks. You know, if you just establish that leg kick throughout the rounds, you can rip that lead leg. Because Caitlin can kind of be front heavy because she likes to box. She can kind of be front heavy on that lead leg. And when she's kind of front heavy, it makes her a little bit predictable as far as when her kicks are coming also. You know, so again, that kind of leads back to the takedowns, you know, um, in the ground game. Um, Sometime when Caitlin's leaning forward on that leg, you can kind of see when the spin kick is coming or the front kick is coming. So when that's coming, Antonina can grab that leg and go straight for the takedown. So, you know, that's the opening right there. And then again, going back to the uh, the leg kicks, JoJo, she was ripping the lead leg up for Caitlin. You know, um, I feel like if she would just added more to that, she probably would have got the victory or the stoppage. So somebody like Antonina, you know, she's going to have to mix it up and switch levels, you know, Start kicking the inside of that lead leg at Caitlin early. Switch levels, you know, make her expect it coming. Then when she's expecting it, use that straight southpaw left hand down the middle. You know, even have to switch to orthodox if you got to get that, uh, you know, if you got to get that lead leg. But, yeah, definitely attack the lead leg of Caitlin Chikagin 
you know, that's definitely going to slow that speed down. That's another um, that's another uh, definite key for Antonina in this fight, especially like a Muay Thai fighter. So, uh, yeah, those are the keys to victory for Antonina Shevchenko going into this fight. And with that being said, my prediction, I'm going to have to say I see this as a 50 50 fight, honestly. And I see this as a very, very close W. It's going to be a very, very close win for Antonina Shevchenko. I think Antonina right now, you know, I feel like she has all the tools to beat a stand-up fighter like Caitlin Chikagin. I feel like she has that timing, and I feel like she has that strength, and she could take this to the ground, you know. And um, all the all of those tools mixed together, I think it's going to be, you know, to her benefit, especially being in camp with somebody somebody like her sister. You know, she's definitely going to polish her sister up to be able to capitalize off of what she was able to do. So, yeah. I'm going to have to go with Antonina in this fight. It's not going to be easy, though. You know, it's definitely not going to be easy for, you know, uh, a much uh, greener version. I'm just saying, you know, a greener, not I won't say a much greener version, but, you know, a, a little bit less experienced version of Valentina. You know, it's definitely got to, not going to be an easy win for her the same way it was for Valentina. So I think there's going to be moments when Caitlin starts early. You know, she's going to try to pile up points and use her jab and try to outstrike Valentina early. Uh, not Valentina, but Antonina. But when you get into that second and third round, there's going to be some good clinch moments. And I think the rounds are going to be taken by Antonina when she gets some takedowns. You know, she starts getting takedowns in like the second or third round. You know, she's going to, you know, uh, secure those rounds by using those takedowns. Uh, but yeah, that's that's my call on this one. That's my prediction, coach. <laughs> I'm going to have to go with Antonina by a close decision in this one. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Like I said, you know, uh, I'm just being honest in this one. Um, that's my honest keys to victory and prediction on this one. Um, I still think it is going to be a hard fight for Antonina because she's not Valentina. You know, I'm just being honest. And I think it's going to be a tough, grueling fight for her against the former number one contender. But, yeah, that's all I got on this, guys. Antonina Shevchenko by a very close split decision. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Again, thanks to my new subscribers. Make sure y'all subscribe. Combo Breaker 99. I'm out. Peace.